Hi, my name is Betty Mitchell and I am here to show you the Sew Sisters Seven Corner Ruler that Pam Damore and I developed. This is the ruler. It has all different applications in each of the different corners. So the first one is the for a boxed, a two inch boxed corner. And as you can see, I use this to cut this out. There are convenient little teardrop shapes in here so your rotary cutter can go right in. So then I'm just going to sew this together quickly. And you can either sew the corners first or you can sew the sides first. I like sewing the sides first. And then you would press these sides open. I'm just going to finger press them so that we can do this quickly. So once your sides are stitched and pressed open, you just line those two seams up on top of each other and you stitch straight across. And you have the perfectly boxed corner that we used on our expandable zipper bag from our book Hold Everything. And this is that same corner. Then on the Hold Everything bag from the Hold Everything book, we used a one inch corner. They're just, you round the two pieces and just sew a rounded seam. And on this end of the ruler, we have a half inch curve, a one inch curve, and a one and a half inch curve. The half inch curve, if you wish to, can be cut with your rotary cutter. The one and one and a half are inset and for the safety so that the ruler would hold together, they are meant so that you trace the lines. You move, would move this up to the edge of your fabric, trace the curve in, and then cut on that curve. It, the trace just shows up a little bit better out here where you're not going to use it. But that gives you right here three different curves, a half, one, and one and a half inches. This is just a straight corner, so if you need a square corner on a project, you just can cut the square corner. We also feature, never remember how much this is, 7 inches of straight ruler with half inch markings. If you want to take a look at the quilting on this bag, I'll turn it over, you maybe see it better on the back. There are quilting lines on the ruler so that you get a, a different angle when you're quilting. It's not 60 degrees, it's not 45 degrees, it's just a different angle. You can use the ruler to draw the lines and then use the quilting bar on your sewing machine to just make them parallel. These are spaced approximately an inch and a half apart. However far you move the bar on your machine, you can space them closer or farther apart, whatever is to your liking. Now this corner, this corner here is a three inch curve. And it can be used in two different ways. It can be used as a straight three inch curve, just to have a nice deep curve on a corner that you're doing. Or it has this little teardrop cutout and again, your rotary cutter can slide in there. So I have two pieces here that I have cut. So you can sew this in exactly the same way as you did 
that um, two inch cutout, you can either sew your cutouts first or you can sew your seams first. So if you sew your seams first, and with this you can just stitch across to the other side. Stitch your curve in. Open this up, and again after your curves are pressed, this is like stitching a, a large dart across here. And I have an example of one that was stitched. You can see how this was stitched. Uh, when this was stitched, the darts were actually stitched first. And then it's just the opposite of what I did. It doesn't matter which way you work it. When this pops out, the curve looks like this and that dart type shape from that little teardrop cutout gives you a real nice um, corner there and this was used on our teacher's pet bag and here's the corner at the bottom it's that same corner with using that curved cutout so we have one two three four five six seven and now, since we did the ruler, we need a new name because we have found that there's another corner we can do. We needed a, an, um, and I can't find the sample, so we'll do it again. I needed a two inch curve. So I realized that if I used our two inch cutout and marked it, and then took the three inch curve and just fit it to those marks, this curve becomes a two inch curve. So that you can create a two inch curve from the three inch curve. So now we have eight different corners that you can do with your Sew Sisters seven corner ruler. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Betty Mitchell. I hope you enjoy our ruler and our new book, Hold Everything.